so we're gonna start with the anchor back extension on the floor, face down. And we'll work our way from the toes to the head. We got toes together, knees together, knees on the floor. Mm -hmm. Squeeze the legs towards each other. Internal rotation of the thighs, flex the ankle, and then lift the toes off the ground. Just hold it here, tuck the tailbone under a little bit, so tailbone towards the heels. Find that tension on the hamstrings. Find that tension on the anterior tibialis and the shin muscle. Remember pulling the pinkies more than the big toe. And then we have the forehead on the ground. As we start, just big breaths into the back. Hands to the side of the ears. Keep squeezing the knees together, squeeze the knees down to the floor, keep the toes together, flex the ankle, working that anterior tibialis. When you're ready, lift the head up off the ground, keeping the back of the neck long. Tuck the chin in just a little bit to be sure, and then breathe big into the upper body, into the torso. And with every inhale, feel the chest pulling off the floor. And when you're ready, just float the hands and elbows off the ground. Shoulder blades towards each other, shoulders away from the ears towards the hips. Open the palms, open the fingers, big breath here. Every inhale, you get a little bit higher on the exhales, don't let it drop. And just scan, cyclical scanning of the alignment, toes together, knees together, internal rotation, flex the ankle, pull that pinky, big breath. Tuck the tailbone, check the shoulders, check the neck. One more big breath. Exhale slowly, lower down and press back, child pose. So in child pose, we got the knees wide, big toes touching, hips sink down to the heels, arms block forward, release the torso, release the head, and breathe. Breathe into the lower back, this is our counter pose. Soft, very yin-like, just relaxing here. Catch your breath. Good, and then we're ready slowly, slowly. Let's do another one of those back extensions. Belly on the floor, chest on the floor, forehead on the floor. Hands to the side of the ears, and we'll start from the bottom up. Toes together, knees together. Flex the ankle, float the toes off the ground. Tuck the tailbone down. Internal rotation. Feel the burn on the shins. Pull that pinky towards the knees. When you're ready, back of the neck long, lift the head straight off the ground. Don't look forward enough, look straight down. Tuck the chin in a little bit more. Big breaths. When you're ready, lifting the head up, lifting the hands and elbows up, shoulders back in position. Powerful breathing here. Engaging that posterior chain. Big breaths, keep squeezing the legs towards each other, keep flexing the ankle. One more big breath, slowly exhale, lower down, press back, child pose. Toes together, knees wide, relax the shoulders, relax the torso, relax the head. Yin style, soften and breathe. Good. 
going to do one or two more breaths. And then slowly walk your hands towards your knees and take your time to come up to standing. No rush, just slowly coming up. All right, so we got our standing knee compression from the bottom up, feet hip width apart, outer edges parallel, so maybe a little bit towards pigeon toe, not quite. Just find that railroad track straight. Okay, remember the toes and the base of the toes are going to stay on the ground, knees gently unlocked, not bending them, but just unlocked. Find the proper Tucking or untucking of the tailbone. Okay. And then thumbs at the base of the rib cage. So find the ribs all the way down, find the bottom of the ribs. Pinky at the top of the hip. So find the hip bone, get to the top. Every inhale, thumb gets a little bit farther away from the pinky. Shoulders back, elbows wide. And remember that sternum up, chin level, base of the skull up and away from the sternum. Right? Engaging those SDM muscles. Big breath. And we'll just expand. So ribs up away from the hips. Lateral breath, front and back. So big, expansive, 360 degree breath here. And just keep working on that alignment. Toes on the ground, knees soft. Tucking the tailbone maybe a little bit to create space in the lower back. Chest up, shoulders back, elbows wide. Nice. Big breath. Every inhale, expand a bit bigger. On the exhale, pull the belly in, keep the chest big. Inhale. Exhale. It's like you're wrapping your waistband in. On the inhale, you create length around the waistband front, sides, especially in the back. On the exhale, you squeeze the belly a ton. Good, hold it right there. And then from here, we're going to our hinge. So everything stays from the bottom and from the up, from the bottom and up, lower body, upper body, keep the same, just the hips hinge back, right? It's like you're reaching for that wall behind you. The hips go behind the heels, chest stays high, back of the neck long, don't look up, right? Keep the chin tucked. Keep the head pulling back away from whatever you're looking at and breathe. Check the toes, check the knees. If you can keep hinging back, keep hinging back as long as you're not folding at the spine. If you feel like you're hyperextending like that, tuck the tailbone, right? Pull those front ribs down, right? Engaging the abs, right? But still big breath coming in, expansive. And it's not so much about how far you can go into the hinge, it's more about the integrity of the toes down, the knees unlocked. Big breath. Right. Okay, let's go arms forward, hips back a little bit, use the lever, pull the shoulders down, external rotation. So let's go palms up from this one. Right, shoulders back and down, away from the ears. One more big breath here. Thumbs at the base of the rib cage, pinky at the top of the hips. Take one more big breath. Come back up to standing decompression and release. And shake that off. Nice. Good job.